What's going on YouTube welcome back to another video. So guys today we are playing some Payday 3. My first video on this game. Amazing game to be honest until now. I really like it especially if you're someone that likes to do heists in GTA. You will like this as well. We're doing the first mission. No rest for the wicked on normal mode. Completely stealth solo but I have to say I will equip my mask. So I didn't find a way to do it without equipping your mask. I think the only way to do this is just by replaying the mission after you know the vault code, the vault. but that's not really that useful. So the goal is to open the this door, door over here, behind that you have the vault or the safe. The so for you this you will open. first have to find, find the circuit, circuit breaker, the breaker of the lock, and you can find it in this door over here or in this room over here. Just make sure that no one sees you while you're lock picking. also make sure that no one security. sees you while the you're switching the off the circuit breaker. Next thing we have to do is go to the power room. You will be told where it is, so it's either on the second floor or I have also seen some footage where it can be on the roof. In my experience, it was always on the second floor though. Before you go there, there is a guard patrolling on the first floor. He has a key card. It can be the blue key card or the red one, but just in case, make sure that you take it before you go upstairs because if, if it's the red one, you will need it immediately. So just wait for him to pass, make sure that none of the employees see it, and then you can pretty much just grab it, it's not that difficult. Then on the second floor, first of all look in the hallway if there is any cameras, because every time you play the cameras will have kind of a different position. And the guard that's patrolling here, it's also just one guard if you play it on normal mode. He has the other key card, so if you picked up the red one downstairs, then this one will have the blue one, or the other way around. So this one you can use to get in the camera room or the security room, which I will also use later on. First thing you want to do then is find the uh, power room. If it's on the second floor, there is two options. It's either this room over here, which in my case over here is the camera or the security room because it has a blue keycard box next to it. So you will have to use the blue keycard. And then the second option is this room over here, which has a red box next to it. So this means that this is the power room. It could be the other way around as well. Hack the computer so that you can disable the security system. And then very important after it's done, on this small screen on the right, there will be a cable connection. So in this case, it's the circle. You will need this if you want to open the magnetic doors that lead you to the uh, vault. Before you go, what I did over here is I went to the security room as well and I killed the guy over there and from this moment on I go masked. So for this you also need the blue key card. If you don't have it yet make sure to get it. Like I said it's either with the guard downstairs or with the guard on this floor. When you're going for the door make sure that the guard is not around so maybe just wait for him to pass. The guard always makes a entire tour around the second floor. So it's very easy to avoid them. Look out for the cameras and make sure that it doesn't say observed when you're opening the door. So also the employees cannot see you money. open this door. Inside there will be a guard that basically watches the camera footage. After this moment, after you take him down, you can basically ignore the cameras. So there's no one watching them. You can move freely. Make sure to answer the radio, by the way, as well. Every time you take guys down over the guard. So but sharp. this will really help you, especially because you're now masked up. And the main reason why I did this is because for the um, vault, you will need a executive. You will have to take him hostage. And when you have the cameras turned on, it's very difficult. You can also choose not to do this, but I recommend this way. Next step will be to take out the guard on the first floor. Very important that you first take out the guard because if he sees you with your mask on then he will immediately trigger the alarm and you will go out of stealth mode. If the employee sees you, for example over here, she sees me, I still have a lot of time before I tie her up. So that's no issue. So just take out the guards first and again answer the radio. Everything's all right I think here, you buddy. have three or four times me. that you can do this but yeah, it will definitely be enough. So after that, you can tie up all the employees on this floor. It will really help you move freely and it will make it really easy to take out all the money outside. If there is no one in the hallway, you can go ahead and open the door. So the magnetic door to the vault. So over here, you have to use the um, cable connection the that you saw in the power the room. So for me, it was the circle. Make sure that you really remember Just this or else it will also trigger the alarm. 
My tactic from here on is just to take out everyone on this floor. It's pretty easy. You just take them hostage or you take them as a human shield. You put them on the ground and then you can just tie them up. This guy in this room over here is a executive. I just tied him up over here, but later on I will use him to open the vault. Then over here in this meeting room or conference room, also just tie up everyone. Like I said, if you're just taking out everyone, tying up everyone, you can move freely and it will be very easy. Now one small tip is close this door over here and definitely close this one. This will make sure that no one sees you from inside. Last person will be over here sitting. You don't really have to take them out. You can also just close the doors that goes to go to this room. But uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, because the van was on the right side of the bank for me, I kind of planned my escape route as well. So I already lockpicked this gate so it will be easier for me. And then it's also important that you take out the guard that's patrolling over here. So this one over here, I just waited for him to pass and then I took him out. Now it could also be that your van is on the left side of the bank, so if you're standing in front of the bank on the left side, so on the parking lot, then you will have to clear the way the other way around of course, there's also a guard over there, there's also some civilians I think which might make it a bit more difficult, but I have seen that when you start taking out the money, basically all of the civilians disappear, so that should be fine as well, but make sure to take down the guards, and also again answer the radio over oh, here I think that. I took a little bit too long to answer the radio because I also dragged them inside then one of the other guards got alerted he wanted to come inside but the doors were closed so he couldn't so just to be safe I opened the door so he could come inside I and then I him out. Something. so I don't know what happens if you don't do this maybe the alarm gets alerted maybe not but this was the best way so try to avoid of course going out of stealth mode okay? yeah everything's fine here the path Great, is now actually. cleared so we can go you think? get the executive Some clowns were trying to but rock. there's actually also one optional thing that you can do in this mission and that's the uh, safety deposit box of a executive so first of all you will have to search some folders to find out that there is in fact a safety deposit box and then uh, from one of the other folders i didn't find it over here you will also find the number of the deposit box but there is also some files upstairs. I didn't want to go upstairs because it's kind of risky with the mask on. But most of the time, to be honest, the number will be in this office over here. So there is also a safe over here. This is just some extra money. If you have taken out everyone or tied them up, it's very easy to do this. There is also no guard patrolling outside anymore. So you can just do this calmly. No stress. The system for opening the safe is just turning until it starts to vibrate and when it turns green just wait a bit pretty simple i would say oh, no. so then take the executive uh, you could also make him follow you but i don't like this to be honest because it kind of is slow and just take him to the vault like i said there's no one on this floor so you can do this the cameras are also turned off so it's very easy when you arrive at the vault, just shove him in front of the screen over here. His face will be recognized, the vault won't open immediately. There's actually a code that will be sent to his computer. So before you get that, make sure that you take him out of sight, because on the right side over here, you have the other magnetic door, which is uh, basically in the lobby. And if someone sees him, the alarm could be triggered. Then go to his PC. On his PC, you will see code. four codes. Now, so one of these four codes is the correct one. Uh, I would say take a picture of this and then it will be very easy when we get back to the vault to know which one is the correct one. Because if you get to this screen, you can see which numbers were pressed a lot. You can see over here it's two, three and five. So this means that in the four codes that we saw on the screen, you just have to find the one which has two, three and five. Now, another method that people use is also just trying every combination with these three or four numbers. Uh, so right now it's twice the same number that you use, but it could also be that you just have four different numbers. This is also an option, but this is kind of risky because if I'm not mistaken, every time you um, try a code that is wrong, a employee will come and this is kind of annoying. When you're inside, very important, try to disarm all of the die packs as fast as possible. If you don't disarm a die pack, you will see 
there is a blue die that basically ruins the money. So make sure that you're faster than me. I managed to save that. three packs, I think out of eight, which is not that good. But it really depends on how fast you are and maybe also if you have some teammates. I'm not completely sure, by the way, if the blue packs or so the diet uh, cash is completely useless or not. Maybe you can still steal it. But from this mission, when I took all of the three that weren't died, uh, it was basically over. So I think the blue ones are just ruined. So the way I did it was I just took everything, I dropped it next to the door. And then at the end, I took everything to the van one by one. You don't have to do this, but I wasn't sure if I could just go outside freely without alerting anyone. So I thought it would be safer to do it like this. After you gathered everything, you can start taking it to the van. And that's pretty much it. Now this was on normal mode, I'm also planning to make a video for this mission on overkill mode. I'm not sure yet uh, if the method that I use today will work, but we'll see about that. My plan is to first make a guide on the other missions as well. I really like this game, it's really fun. I also like the heists, for example, in GTA, so this is very comparable. These are, of course, a little more detailed and more difficult, to be honest. But it's very good. If you're a GTA player watching this, definitely consider getting this game it was only 40 dollars for me so it's not 70 or 80 like a regular game that was it guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you have some tips for me by the way feel free to leave them in the comments make sure to like subscribe check out the discord server in the description and peace out you guys